What is up guys, MQ here, and today's tutorial is going to be on how to create your own texture in Cinema 4D. I touched on this in a previous tutorial, and I'm just going to go more in depth with it. So, I'm just going to just start a new file in Cinema 4D, I'm just going to delete all this stuff. I'm going to make a floor, a light, bring it up to the left gonna put shadow map soft on the light and just gonna make a sphere make it a little bigger bring it up all right so right now as you can see it looks pretty crappy so for those of you who don't know how to make a your own material you just double click this box down here or you go to file new material or control n then to edit it you can go over here but I find it easier to just double click this so you can see the whole window so to edit the color right now I'm going to go through the color luminance transparency reflection bump and glow I don't really use diffusion I don't find it helpful um, when you get more advanced with making textures it does become helpful um, the rest of the stuff I just don't really use. So to change the color, it's very simple. You just go to color, and then you change it. Um, for luminance, I usually only do this for light. Um, but like, if you saw my lighting tutorial, you know how I use the luminance. But I don't really use it on. Um, like, if I was making a text, I wouldn't really use the luminance. It does create a cool effect if you want to try it out. So, reflection I use frequently, but I don't use it on 100%. I usually bring it down to 50, or if I don't want a lot of reflection, I bring it down to around 11. Then I usually go to texture, and then I go to Fresnel. And I usually bring the Fresnel down to go down the mixed strength and bring it down. And I like, it gives it a nice effect. And if you want to add a glow to it, you just click on glow. And you could play with the strengths and everything. Now I'm just going to show you guys really quick how that would look. I'm just going to take the texture and drag it onto the sphere. And then do a quick render. Now it doesn't look very good at all. So I'm just going to put a simple texture on the floor. Okay, so with better lighting and with other stuff in the mix, that will look a lot better. I'm just going to delete that for now because that's not really what I wanted to get into today. What I really wanted to get into is how to bring a picture from Google, or you can even take a picture, and making a texture from that picture. Okay, so... What you're going to do first is you're going to go to Google Images. And then I'm going to search for a cracked texture. You can search whatever you want. I find cracked and grunge work the best. Now, and then you just open this put view original image just gonna save picture as I recommend I really 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 highly recommend making a separate folder for your materials I'll explain why in a bit but as you can see I already have the material here so you're supposed to click save I'm just gonna hit cancel because I already have it and then you just minimize it after you save it you go to color texture load image then you go to the image and then you go to press yes and as you can see here your texture is right here and you can play around if you it doesn't work as well with all textures but let's say you wanted to change the color you could change the color there and you could bring down right here where it says mix strength you can bring it down here a little bit and it'll turn that color 
but I, I recommend just finding a texture with the color already in it so that's how you bring the picture in now I'm going to show you guys I'm going to show you guys how it looks and I'm going to show you guys how to make it look better so that's how it looks it's very basic the ball is cracked and right now I don't I think the shadow's too dark so I'm going to go to light and I'm going to go down here to shadow and I'm going to change the density to about 75 and then I'm going to render out again as you can see the shadow is a lot lighter here and I'm still not happy with it so I'm just going to press control C control V make another light put it on the other side Uh, I just want more lighting so you guys can see better. Okay, whatever. So now, very good way to make it look more realistic, more cracked, have more texture to it, is you go here to bump. Click on that. Go to texture load image load the same image you prick yes and then you can bring you can leave it there if you would like the strength over here but I usually bring it up to 100 and then as you can see there's a lot more texture on it it looks a lot more realistic and Let's say um, the texture doesn't really fit to the object you want to put it in. You can go to this right here. And okay, why is this black? All right, you can go to this right here, and then you can play around with the length, the and the offset. What the length is is it changes the length of the texture itself, so it makes it skinnier. As you can see, the, it's a lot skinnier now. And you can change the skinniness of the X and the Y. And then you can change the offset, which is just moving it left and right, up and down. You just can press Control Z and bring it back. Oops, cancel. So you can do this with a lot of textures. Um, it's good to just play around with it, but uh, you guys might want to know how to bring it onto text as well, which is which is a little bit different. You go to MoGraph, Mo Text. So let's say you have a text you want to bring that cracked texture onto. It's gonna face it towards you. Make it a little bigger. And. I'm gonna bring the some of you may know how to put caps on it so if you guys have tried this before and wondered why when you put caps on it it doesn't work as well I'll show you right now I'm gonna put some caps on it and I'm gonna change the text to make it a little bit thicker change the font sorry and I'll just put Bitsumishi. Okay. So, as you can see, when you drag this onto the text, it nothing happens to the front. You can only see it on the back side. And it just doesn't look nice. So in order to fix that, what you need to do is you need to duplicate this. You could just hold it and press Control C, Control V, or you can hold it and hold Control, click and drag it. So now you have two. So the first one you have here, you're gonna go click on it right here. You're gonna go to selection. You're gonna put capital C, capital One. Uh, I said capital one capital C and one 
you're gonna go to projection and go to flat and now you can see it's on the front now now what you want to do is also get it on the back right so that's where the second texture comes in you're gonna drag it onto the mold text then you're gonna take this first one and drag it to the back and now you have it on the whole thing let me zoom in so you guys can see now this is what I was talking about if you wanted to fix the texture because it just doesn't look right so you're gonna go to the second one and it's on the back no the one that's on the front I'm sorry and then you're gonna play with the length and I wanna make it skinnier because it looks stretched out I think I was on the wrong side. I don't know why they ju just didn't make this X and Y instead of U and V. But let me zoom in here. So, you can see how I'm making it stretch further. Okay, so that looks okay to me. Uh, all right, I'm liking how that is. And now you just render it, and there you go. You have the cracked texture in the front, cracked texture on the sides, and if you turn it around, you have a cracked texture on the back as well. So, if you guys have any questions, feel free to throw a comment and like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you out.